Hi everyone. <clears throat> I'd like to do a painting and starting next week I would hope to be able to do some of these on Facebook Lives so um, where we can have some interaction. That's what I really want. I want to know what you guys like, you know, what direction you'd like to go in, what you'd like to see more of and things like that. So um, I would like to start with a few oil pastels and um, I kind of see kind of something something coming in this way and you know oil pastels will repel paint somewhat and um, I don't really know just what direction I want to go in with this some horizontals some verticals, um, something coming off this way. I'm really interested in different kinds of compositions and there's a thing called a T composition where there's something like this and then something comes in at an angle and um, you know, probably a horizon line or something coming over this way. But also I'm very drawn to color great color. Put that in. You know, I always like to put some texture in with acrylic medium before I would paint, but we'll see how it goes with these. And then the other color I'm drawn to is this. Kind of a lavender pink or something, something like that. This way. I keep seeing a color that's kind of like I think ultramarine blue and, and white and it's kind of an icy color just kind of comes in I'm seeing this color a lot through the trees You know, art is such a frame of mind. Doing art is a total attitude. If you're in the right mindset, that's when it all kind of comes together. And that's where you can get, get into flow. Well, that's very green. That's very green. The color, other color I love is a warm white with Prussian. You know, contrast is really good. You want to get some contrast going. something very deep, but yet not the same all over. We want to um, switch brushes. This is a great brush. Make layers of things happen. Kind of makes you think what, how much to do. It's kind of nice. I like that icy blue. You know, 
I used a lot of oil pastel and paint when I was doing the shows back in Chicago and it really is, is such a wonderful earthy medium to use. Oil pastel gives it a texture. Wonderful, wonderful sky. It already has a very neutral tone going on there. You want to have some kind of a horizon line. It kind of breaks it up a bit. It's, it's a nice thing. But I love atmosphere. I love skies. I love interesting skies that look like there are things happening. Irregular. Horizon line, well, land mass, island, things happening. I would use colored pencils to blend it. You know, like I would use, I'd make the eyes on different animals and things. Colored pencils and oil pastels really go hand in hand. Oh, this is nice. It's scraping through to some of the pink on the bottom. I like that. You know, you just play. You don't always know just what it's gonna do. But you want to kind of break it up so that it's just not all the same kind of a thing. I scribble a lot, you know. There's a lot of scribbles. You know, people say, oh, I can only scribble. Scribble in pencil and oil pastels. And you've got something, you know. I've got something to show for it. It's, oh, nice. See that spattering going on there? You don't want to have too many colors going on in a palette. But to kind of shake it up a little bit, it's, it's a good thing. Different tones happen.
you know, with all the things happening in the world, I kind of had to pull myself together again because art always saves me. And we have to keep up doing the inner journey when the outer journey just gets crazy. And it's sad. The world is sad. So you have to kind of keep going for the love. You want to go for what brings you love because as you are feeling better, as you are in a space of beauty and love, that ripples out to the world. And it makes a difference. And we just have to do that. We have to keep that, keep that inner journey going. For the world, for ourselves, for everything. Because that's the only way that healing can happen. Healing can only happen through love. And it has to begin with you. So that's why we do art. That's why we continue on. And um, so hopefully next time I'll be doing this live on Facebook on the Dragonfly Art Club. So let me know what you think. I felt it needed a little more something off to the left to kind of ground it. Like like maybe there's land over here or something happening. And I added a little bit of cobalt. take a picture, and wash off the brushes. See you soon. Bye for now.